We must act. Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. I am Sir Joseph and this is Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. We are in the Shadow District, what quarters, whatever they're called. Uh, we just fought up here a gang of um, Anvers who tried to burn us. But we're also following these symbols here that will hopefully lead us to a hideout of evildoers. There is a dark hideout here, which makes me think that's probably where we're going. We're going to come up here real quick just to make sure there's nothing up there. Follow my lead. Stop there. Well, there's another one of those. down the long thin hallway. A new challenge for me. Oh, there's Anver Thugs over there. Bunch of them over here as well. Could go back and come through this door. Looks like it's going to show up over here. That might be the better plan. I'll lay claim to the stars. We're going to hope it's the better plan because that's what we're going to do. man with a shaggy mop of dark hair is dressed and armed about as well as everyone else in here and yet he is the unmistakable leader he takes a step towards you he chuckles he spreads his arms wide in a welcoming gesture my guests what a joy it is to see you in my humble refuge I see you've come here to be introduced to the truth which you will choose then words or fire and metal. You already know the answer, heretic. Argenta grasps her weapon. Avalard. Kindly inform this bandit vermin that we've come to execute him. I love that line. Avalard glowers menacingly and says in his best officer voice, By the order of the head of the Von Valencia dynasty, a fully recognized rogue traitor with all the attendant rights and privileges, including authority on footfall, you, Riffraff, are hereby sentenced to death. May the Emperor have mercy on your souls, for we will show none. Abelard's a beast! The man cringes. 
bloated old masters of the universe who don't realize that their time has passed? You think you can scare me? Do you even know what our name means, outsider? Footfall causes anvers. They do not stop to look, listen, learn. The man pauses, then half closes his eyes and proclaims in a crude but clear high gothic, Auxilio non venit. Help will not come. The maw has closed. The Coronas Expanse is on its own now. A new era has come, and we are its sovereigns. Cries of mercy. Cross them. Oh, awesome. We're all poisoned now. Alright, we probably want to get to turn this thing on. Alright. Oh, Pascal. Yeah. Maybe we would have been better coming here. We would have been a lot closer to the... Uh, to the thing. You will put Pascal there. Wow, there's a lot of them between us and them, but we're going to put Ignatius up front. We're going to put Abelard up front. Our Gentle will go here. Cassia we'll put here. And Adira. I guess there we'll have to do. Anvers Arsonist with 121 hit points. That's a lot. The Anver Kingpin of 187. That's a lot. All right. So we are going to... everyone up with this and then we're going to take this shot downfield we didn't get they didn't kill anybody ah Goodness, what are you going to do, Idra? There is movement. We'll come here in for the now. Was, and we're in cover. So we're was that you? That. Or. Hit him with that. 
Let's make it quick. Just a minor setback. That's two people that Here thought that was go. a good idea. Let's get to it. Curse you, miscreant. Move to here. Already done. Endure. Well, that's that defensive stance thing. You didn't stand the chance. Let's go ahead and put the defensive Suit stance on. Bunch of fire over there, all right. See them. Shoot at pretty much all of these guys. That'd be a good shot right there. Get rid of a bunch of those dudes. What was this one here? That was good. As the Emperor commands, we'll use I this, act. so we're not gonna really do much with it. We're not gonna do much movement with it, I should say. Good shooting, Argenta. Hold on. Let's get to it. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Victory is imminent. We can't charge either of them, but we can charge this guy. Ah, what? You are target. chance let's go ahead and shoot those guys momentum Cassia I don't think he could charge there it would be nice if he could but I don't think he can Can't give Abelard anything. I have read tones of here. tactics. Oh, we can do extra turn. I'll paint your death in Nace colors. an extra turn. Okay, so we can charge him, so let's do Nothing I can't do. This do this. Yeah, 
and charge. Not a problem. There we go. He's down. Then we I'm have Avalar to being ordered AP, around. Which may or may not work. I might I gotta hopefully let me charge this guy. There we At go. Jewel, back and cool. I took care of this one. Pascal's got all the good old not catching on fire stuff. As the tactical imperative dictates. That's the thing I got. There's a ton of them. What the heck? Can I fall back now? Is that five shots? Alrighty. Um, I think we're going to use Medkit on Idra. Thank you. Can shoot, so we are gonna go here. But of course, like this. Do you have cover? Sure, looks like it. So we're gonna do we this do. to get rid of your cover. And I used up all my stuff because I forgot to heal. Dang it! Well, I guess. Um, Let's make it quick. It is what it is, right? Out of my way. That was a silly thing to do. How are they getting so many bloody shots? Here we go. Break yourself, Avalon. I'm a member. Why can't I move more? I have one movement point, probably from all the shotguns. I shall not feel. All right. Let's Nothing I can't do. We're gonna do this. And we're whoop! No, 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 no. And we're gonna charge. Oh, too easy. All right. Then we're gonna use this. I am fear incarnate. Never wavered in the face of adversity. Get the fans going. Let's see how Here. they respond to this. Get rid of all the bloody uh, 
Nothing I can't do. All that gas was tearing us up. There's nowhere to hide. Magenta, come down here. Oh, that's the guy, only guy that's left. All right. I'll do it. To call out. Doubt is for the weak. Good thing we used to call out. Follow my lead. Uh, I will do my duty. Just in case we need to do it. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Already done. And we are done. All right, let's see what sort of loot we got here. We got a med kit, an eye patch, plus 20 bonus to coercion, minus five pin. Oh, I don't want to. Anverse chain sword that might be good. Was it better than the chain axe? Chain axe has better armor penetration, same top end damage. Sword's got better light end damage. When hit by this weapon, the target suffers a minus five penalty to armor, and it stacks. Yeah, that's... It does have rosary. All right, we need to take your rosary beads. Where did they go? There they are. We're going to give them to... Cassia, who's got a much better commerce. All right, let's loot the rest of these guys, and then we'll wander around and see what there is to loot in the room. It's about time. Got the kingpin. We got some goods up here. A flame pistol. Alright, we're not going to see anything there. Adrenaline boots. At the start of the wearer's turn, they gain plus 20% dodge until the end of the round. Well, that's pretty cool. of that too. When the wearer deals damage to an enemy, the wearer has a 25% chance to gain two movement points. Not bad. Where it kills two or more enemies with a single attack. The attack does not spend all the wearers. That we want to keep that. 
She's usually up front a bit. Let's give Argenta the plus 20% dodge boots. Question is, is this what we were doing for Hieronymus? Alright, looks like we've probably cleaned this place out. None shall stand in my way down here just to make sure these aren't also loot boxes. They are not. Go ahead and head out. were not the uh... yeah those were not what we were after all right So the search for the uh, chaos people continues. All right, so go back this way. For me. Oh, yeah, it's a person, not a. I thought there was a dead body. So let's go this way. The premonition runs true. This fake door is connected to a mind trigger. Need no rules, no leaders. I won't tolerate weakness. Nope, nope, not going that way. That's just, that's like a dead end. Let us see what I found. Oh. Got some goods over here. It's about time. Well, that's about all I can. There's no other. Yep, those are dead ends, so I guess. 
head down this way. Oh yeah, because we saw that. Maybe we need to go farther down this way. Anver! Follow my lead. What is that? Ah, up there. All right, let's go up top. Still new to the art of exploring. Yeah, there's another one of these. Experience? Nothing matters more. Alright, Grenadier's Gloves. Grenades cost one less AP for the from the wear enemies suffer plus two damage. Be useful. Let's give that to Pascal if he doesn't have anything else. Plus three tech use. Yeah, we're gonna keep that on him. It's Cassia. Let's give him to Cassia. Tech you. Machine gun grunts me in sight. What's that? A melt a charge. None shall stand in my way. Through. Challenge for me. Yeah, I'm not sure where this thing is supposed to be. Well, let's just finish exploring. They just kind of claim everything. Over. Fake doors connected to a mine with a mine trigger. A lot of fake doors connected to mine triggers. can't go through so let's go this way it's about time
Would you look at that? That? You can't be that. I'm not sure what we saw. Oh, must have been this here. I won't tolerate weakness. Uh, let's go down through this horde of. Reveals something. Um, searching is my observance. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Maybe that's down below. Victory awaits. Let's keep going this way. I... I did it? Martyr's entrance. has so many colors every shade I can imagine is floating in the air colors you say next she'll be asking us to take her on a tavern crawl spare me <laughs> uh, let's get down I'll here. lay claim to the There's stars goods down here. That's a dead end. Okay. Nothing escapes my sight. None shall stand in my way. Thug, someone named Riza. Thug. Refugee, worker, thug. Let's go in this room. 
Any challenge for me? Pretty much anything with a named person we might want to not deal with right away. All right, that guy just shot himself. Oh, by the throne, that's him, isn't it? The poor sap who got his tongue cut out by the Anvers. That's the one. I think he was from the Caspalica. Well, his troubles are over now. Okay. The whispers told me how. There's something living in that sofa. I won't tolerate weakness. The whispers told me a secret. Mastercrafted Power Mall. Let's take a look at that. Are you better than my big sword? No. Are you better than his sword? Uh, better armor penetration. Overall less damage. Uh, I think we'll stick with the inverse chainsword. I, I do like that minus five penalty to armor when you get hit. Ah, the thunder hammer is better. All right, let's go talk to Riza. Follow my lead. She might take offense if we try to take from her. Let's see what she has to say. The woman looks to be in her 40s, and she is surveying you with interest. Her right eye appears almost black against her dusky skin, while her left eye emits a greenish light filtered through the smudged lens of a prosthesis. Her arms are tattooed all the way from the base of her shoulders to her knuckles. Looking for something specific? You're buying, or maybe selling? Don't be shy. Just ask. Old Riza knows all kinds of folks. My boys will fetch you anything your heart desires. Oh yeah, Grandpa Bakov. He's on our ship. He was one of the guys that we met at the prison. Grandpa Bakoval says hello. Riza's face breaks into a broad smile. That old rascal! I thought he'd croaked in the mines a long time ago. But old man Bakaval's still alive and kicking, you say? Me and him have been through a lot of interesting scrapes together. And, oh, all the weird and wonderful things we've sto acquired. Bakaval wouldn't send his regards along with just anyone. You must have done him a good turn. And that's and because of that, old Rise is gonna give you a special discount. You have lost a five percent discount on items from the Fellowship of the Void faction. We lost it. But I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Well, let's see what you have to offer. Okay, we got a 5% discount on them. A bayonet knife. When a wielder attacks with any ranged weapon at a one cell range, that attack also inflicts bleeding. I 
That saturated cape looks nice. A serrated greater sword. So damage is the same. The, the regular great sword's got better armor penetration. Both have the 10 parry. Uh, let's see. On a critical hit, the sword inflicts one stack of lace laceration. For each stack of laceration, all attacks from this sword against the same target deal. No. No. Ooh, got to get up to four. There's a lot of stuff here, but we don't have the reputation for hardly any of this. We can afford most of it. Oh, no, we can't. We can't afford... We can afford that one. We got 24. That's all we could afford, so yeah, there's nothing really there that's Who are these boys you work with? Rise of Lowers her booming raspy voice. You heard about how the Clipper Saint Cognacius got hit recently? The cargo was cleaned out, everything of value taken? Well that's my boy's handiwork. We call ourselves the Fellowship of the Void, an association of enterprising, like-minded people who help the upstanding citizens of the Imperium rid themselves of the possessions that are weighing them down. You notice Avalard's face twist in disgust. It would seem he has a rather strong opinion on the individuals whom Ryza refers to as Fellowship of the Void. Pirates, in other words. Ryza plasters a shocked expression on her face. Please, no need to be so crude. Your esteemed self, no doubt, is aware that Hieronymus preaches that as asketism is a virtue and that only by rejecting material wealth can we ascend in faith. Well, I couldn't agree more. We are merely helping the servants of the Imperium be a little more like Hieronymus and taking a small commission for ourselves, for our trouble. I added words to that, evidently. What kind of goods are you willing to buy? Tech is always the best. If it's broke, no sweat, we'll fix it or take it apart. And if you score something so nasty that your fussy everyday traders won't even look at, Fear not, just bring it over. Let me and my boys, leave it to me and my boys to find the right buyer. The handling of sacred technology by lay persons uninitiated in the omnicized priesthood is a category eight blasphemy. Ooh, I think that's the highest category of blasphemy he's talked about. Incriminating evidence of profane acts perpetrated by the unit named Old Riza has been recorded for use in future judicial proceedings. <laughs> she chuckles darkly. Do you mean to threaten me, tech priest? Well then, I'll keep a record of this conversation too. I wonder which of us will feel the harsh hand of justice first. Will it be me, standing in chains before your brethren, or you, standing in airlock before my boys? I better get going. Nice doing business with you. All right, so she's just somebody we can do merchant stuff with. I'll lay claim to the stars. Vicious Prowler. Gordy. 
The flabby man in worn clothes is, is sighing sadly over a glass of murky booze. Only when he looks up at you do you notice his eyes, large, piercing, and full of sorrow, a stark contrast to his unkept appearance. Could it be that someone actually wishes to keep me company? Allow me to introduce myself. Gordy Skatov, architectural historian. You look deeply despondent over something. What happened? Gordy sighs heavily. Here I go again, pouring my heart out to have you disappear in ten minutes just like everyone else before you. But all's right. Here's a story of Gordy Skatov, the unluckiest, unluckiest historian in the Imperium. I was born two sectors away from here. My family was quite influential, which allowed me to dedicate myself to my great passion, the history of Imperium architecture. I spent a number of years studying every scholarly work there was to find on the art. And then, once I had inherited my family's fortune, I traveled and documented the development of agricultural or architectural um, thought on different worlds. Until one day, oh, that accursed and blessed day, until one day I came into possession of something quite special. Gordy pulls what looks like a book or an album with a with a homemade leather cover out of his bag. Both the pages and binding look well worn. Here it is, my undoing. This is an authentic book titled Derwain's Design, one of the thousands that were printed centuries ago in the time of Footfall's construction. What a curious read. Please tell us more. As Cassia takes a shy step forward, Gordy smiles and shows her some of the fading pages. Footfall's founder, Lord Parsimus, was obsessed with his creation's grand future. This booklet describes in detail what Footfall was meant to become upon its completion. Dozens of asteroids turned into glorious palaces and temples, massive bridges spanning the void itself, and the marvelous flying buttresses. The archivolts of the exterior arches, the elegant arrangement of ballusters, and the interior, poliferous, ten stories tall and more than a kilometer wide, long, cyclopean light tubes that catch the light of Furbundus and use it to brighten the halls in the hearts of the asteroids, stained glass windows and mosaics bas reliefs and statues. Engrossed in his own description, Gordy stands up and starts tracing the outlines of arches and galleries with his hands. Hedera blinks, barely suppressing a yawn, and stares looking around with a bored expression. Keep listening. Emerging from his reverie, he catches himself, blushes slightly, and loudly flops back into his seat. I apologize. I, I got carried away. But you must understand how deep an impression this booklet left on me when my young self picked it up. I simply couldn't think about anything other than footfall. I was ready to give my life to see this incredible station. And of course, no matter how hard my friends and loved ones tried to dissuade me, I still gathered all my savings and set out on a journey. It's no easy feat to cross two sectors, especially for a common citizen. I'd like one who has some resources at his disposal. I had to change one ship after another, at times being forced to stay on transfer worlds waiting for a vessel headed in the right direction or the warp disturbances to subside. The voyage took me a total of 107 years. That is a long trip. In real space time, of course. For me, it was much less than that somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 35. And then, after all those years, having spent all of my savings, I reached my dream. And what did I see? A dump in place of exquisite portico. 
metal anthills clinging onto columns, the marble tiles pilfered and by paupers to use as cladding for their cobbles. Grigori hangs his head. It's been a dozen years since I came here, and I still haven't recovered from the shock. I had suspected that not everything from the booklet would exist in reality, but I never expected to see footfall in such a sorry state. It is like stumbling upon the horrible decomposing corpse of your beloved or your beautiful beloved. Argenta's gaze darkens. The warp, like a shameless thief, is guilty of stealing the short span allotted to his servants. But what seems but what sense is there in spending half of your life on such an enterprise? Only to lose your spirits and waste the remaining half on nothing at all. So then ink and paper, too, can lie and cause pain, Cassius sighs sadly. Does this mean that all I have ever read without one day disappointment, or will one day disappoint me with the ugliness of reality? But you're an architectural historian. Is what happened to Footfall not part of its history? Gordy strokes his goatee in thought. Yes, Footfall's current appearance, slums fused together with the remains of majestic palaces, is a unique phenomenon. It would be curious to observe if other places have taken after it, thereby solidifying it as a new style of architecture or if it still remains a local oddity. My word, you certainly know how to provide an unexpected pr perspective on things. Be that as it may, I wanted to say thank you for hearing me out. Over the dozen years I've spent on Footfall, not one person has hung around long enough to listen to my story to its end. It's such a delight to have shared, have shared everything that has been weighing on my mind. I'm poor as a church mouse, but I still have something to offer you as a token of my appreciation. After studying the booklet thoroughly, I discovered something interesting. A ciphered message scattered throughout its pages, taking the form of a riddle. It describes certain places of interest on footfall. I believe it is the work of the booklet's creators. What if the riddles lead to something, a wondrous discovery? I will gladly share what I have been able to learn with you. Riddles? A flash of burning, almost childish curiosity brightens Cassius' austere countenance. Tell me about the places these little riddles lead to. The first location from the riddles isn't far from here. It's a bridge that was supposed to go through the center of the district and into the void towards the neighboring asteroid. Only a couple of its spans were built, and even those lie in ruins. Still, if the cache survived after all those years, it is there somewhere. Ah, rumors. The second location is the Lantern of the Great Cathedral. A lantern is a small tower on top of a dome. You'll see Footfall's atrium, haven't you? The whole atrium is just the nave of the former little cathedral. The Lieges' entire so-called palace would have fit inside what was meant to be not but a single room. The great cathedral, had it been built, would have been even bigger. But alas, its construction was just underway when Dwayne died and the work stopped. The lantern from its dome, however, had already been built and survived. It was brought inside the atrium and dubbed the Chapel of St. Drusus the Warrior. And that is all I know. I wish you luck. I must take care. Good luck to you. All right, and with that, we're going to call it here. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. I have been Sir Joseph. You guys are amazing. Until next time, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you later.